Welcome. In this video I want to tell you how to draw the algorithmic state machine for a weighing machine. So before actually drawing the algorithmic state machine, what do you think is a weighing machine? So well this is definitely not that which tells you weight. But this is something like when you take any binary number, say uh, I have one one zero zero one one zero one. This is the binary number I'm gonna take. I need to find out the weight of this binary number. So if you look at it, I have one, two, three, four, and five ones, and one, two, three zeros. So of the eight digits of the eight bits, I have five ones and three zeros. So the weight of this binary number is going to be 5 because the number of ones in the above binary number is 5. So the weight is 5. This is what I mean when I say I need to find out the weight using and I, uh, I want to uh, draw the algorithmic state machine to find out the weight to build a weighing machine. So now let us get into our program now that we know what a weighing machine is. Now just imagine you're writing a program in C language or Java or whatever programming language and you're gonna find out how many ones are there in the given number. So just assume you're loading the given number into a register, into a register. So now that you have uh, uh, loaded it, you have to count one by one. You have to say you have a counter. You have a counter under the name W, which is the weight. Every time you find a one in the number, you will have to uh, increment the counter. Say I store the binary number in a in an array. Every time I need to increment the array pointer, and at the same time, if I find a one, I'm gonna increment the um, weight counter w that is it's it goes that way when i write a c program or any language program but when i'm writing an algorithmic state machine i have to keep in mind that there are states there are different states for an algorithmic state machine because as i have already told you in my previous video that timing is an important factor in an algorithmic state machine so you will have a number of states and in each state you will have boxes the boxes and all i have discussed previously so now let us uh, get ourselves into writing the state machine so first of all let me consider an initial state And let me just so because you'll be having more states let me keep explaining each state in detail so let me assume that this state is s naught state so in the s naught state let me call it the initial state and let me just number it zero zero and now uh, the initial state if s is set to 1 which means the clock pulse or the signal when it becomes 1 that is when the permission is granted that yeah do this yeah just start to weighing the number when that thing when that signal comes the binary number is loaded into the register r as you can see in the first conditional box the oval one r the number is loaded into r and the weight register that register is set to all ones so why is it set to all ones so that the next time when you when a one is found then when the one is added you know binary one plus one is zero so the next time you find a number it all gets to zero so initially you set that register to all ones and after this process is done you will the initial state s naught will give control to the next state s1 let me now write down for s1 
So now, in the next state, which I'm going to call S1, let me call the next state S1. So in this state, W, which is our weight counter, is incremented by 1. So W is replaced with W plus 1. You might as well use an arrow, which is a more um, machine language sort of thing. So when W is set to W plus 1, the, uh, so in the state S1, two or jobs are done simultaneously. One thing is W is incremented by 1. And the next thing is if Z is equal to 0, uh, which is uh, have, uh, this is 0 and this is 1. So if Z is equal to 0, what is Z? Z is the uh, zero indicator. So when you are, I already told you about the binary number. So when you find a zero, it means it it shouldn't be counted. The weight is not incremented. So if you find a one, it means the weight should be incremented. So when you find a zero, say if Z is a zero indicator, Z is 0 means 0 not found. Z is 1 means 0 is found. So Z, if it is, if the uh, negative thing, like we don't want a 0 there when you're finding out the way. So when Z uh, arises as 0, it should go back. So as you can see, Z is 0, it's going back. And when Z is 1, it means that there is no 0. So if Z is 0, the program just continues. So after this, the uh, algorithm is shifted into state 3. As you can see now, when the 0 is indicated as 0. So next thing it does is shift right. It shifts right into F. So this is the next state where the a right shift takes place. Now, if f is equal to zero, which means that uh, so if f is equal to zero, it's going to go back and shift right again. It's gonna check again. But if f value is equal to one, it is going to increment the counter it's going to increment the weight counter w so this is a simple program it might be tricky but once you get it it's gonna be really easy so initial state and then gets transferred into s where the which is your original clock pulse and then the input is stored into a register R, say my binary number is 110011. That is going to be stored in the register R. And W is a counter, and that register, I'm going to set it to all once. And in the next state, I'm going to increment W with 1. So it's going to become all zeros. And the next thing I'm gonna check if there is a zero. So if there is a zero, I'm gonna go back to the initial state. But if I'm detecting the one, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna shift right into F. And then if the value of F is equal to zero, I'm gonna shift right again. But if it is equal to one, oh yes, I've detected a one. So I'm gonna increment W, which is my counter. So I'm going to repeat this process and this is my algorithmic state machine for uh, a weighing machine and remember weighing machine is something that tells a number of ones in a binary number. So if you have an exam tomorrow all the very best and hope you have found this informative. Have a very lovely day.